Chris, it's a beautiful day outside. I'd like to get out and do some cross country skiing. But last night I was playing around with making some Ryobi battery holders. I've made some temporary ones in the past that caps this clip on. These are a little bit more substantial and they use the Ryobi replacement terminals. And so the battery just fits in it and can be screwed down to things. I thought this would be good for different generic projects. And I also made some generic um, cigarette lighter holders, socket holders, and switch holders. So you can put these together and make your own projects. Here's my latest design for a Ryobi 18 volt battery holder. You can see here that it uses the standard replacement Ryobi clip, but I've put holes to put bolts through here and so you can put nuts in on in here and there's four holes to hold it down. And I've also put a, a place so you can put a clip in for uh, charging the battery. Let's put together an example of how to use these. got three pieces of electrical conduit EMT and I've got some heat shrink tubing which I'm going to put over. I'm using the maker pipe fittings to make a handle. There's two parts that fit together like a puzzle piece. So in this case they go over my end here. And then there's a, uh, a bolt and a nut that you can tighten with the Allen wrench. Since the handle is cut coated, I've removed the little sleeves. To attach the handle, I've drilled a hole through the board and also through the metal pipe here. And this is just gonna go through and the screw's gonna hold it in. Got the handle that's gonna go on here. And then I just need to tighten these on wrench. And I've got a sign to put on here that I 3D printed. We should be all set. This is an example of what you can do with these modules. In this case I've used four of them in a 2S 2P configuration. So two in parallel, two in serial. So we have 40 volts coming out. And I've got an on and off switch here for a 13.8 volt 10 amp cigarette lighter socket and then I've got a plug here for a 40 volt output. The 40 volt output plug can be connected to the adapter that I made for the um, 40 volt 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. The batteries just clip right in. You can run this particular setup with either two or four batteries, but they have to be the same size battery, the same number of amp hours, and they have to be fully charged so that you don't have issues of uh, difference in voltages. Well, I'm out of here to go skiing. 
If you found this video helpful or interesting, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.